It's currently 9 p.m. and tonight we're going to go on a little camping mission. Here's the plan. I'm going to drive to one of Cornwall's nice little quaint villages. We're going to find somewhere to park, wake up nice and early and go out paddleboarding. What could go wrong? <laughs> we've made it. I think we need to check out how much this place is to stay. Okay, so it says three pounds for 24 hours. Okay, got a little flambards. Cash only. By the looks of it, coins. Let's see if it says anything about any overnight like parking. Now this is a little later than I normally try to get to these little camp spots but, and I don't really have time to show you around because it's pitch black outside now, but I'm still going to have a bit of dinner, it's like 10 o'clock at night because I've not eaten yet, so it's not going to be anything flash tonight. I'm pretty sure I've got a pot noodle in the cupboard, so I'm just going to cook up that nice and easy. Right, while that stews away, I say stews away, while the pot noodle does its magic, I'm gonna get the bed ready. Never find the right way around with bed sheets. There we go. You know, they've got to be the right way around, as it's just going to annoy me. Alright, I'll be honest with you, three pounds a night, this isn't bad. I swear to God, this massive bug just flew in. It was like a, a may, maybe it was something. It was huge. It kind of went like down there. Away from my food and get out of my van. Just wanted to get out. Oh, he came back in. Oh, he keeps coming. He keeps coming back in. Go out that way. Go out that way. Get out. Get out, you bastard. Keep going back in. Well, that was fun. I mean, I suppose in a way you got to expect these kind of things when you're out in nature. But I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to get my head down and I get up nice and early and go for a nice paddle around the cove. It's food, just about. I mean, what more could I have asked for at uh, this time of night? Anyway, I'm gonna hit the hay. I'll see you in the morning.
As far as campgrounds go, I think this is quite nice. It was nice and flat, three pounds. It's not bad. 24 hours it means I haven't got to even move the van today, which is great. But I want to go for a little wander down to the to the shore there, just to see how calm the water is, because there's no point in going paddleboarding if the conditions aren't right. This is quite possibly the first day in like a week where the weather hasn't been unbearably hot. I've actually got a bit of a fleece on this morning. I'm sure it'll warm up as the day goes on. They've even got like bins here for your litter. Nice. There's another van down there that was here last night when I got here. They do have this car park here in Mullion as well, which has a um, honesty box. So it's one pound for the day. It does say on here though, no overnight parking. I can see the sea. I'd say that's pretty calm. So I'm thinking, we bring the paddleboard, we walk down the way that we just came and we head into the quay here. It's pretty low tide at the minute, so the tide probably will come in at some point. And we just literally paddle around Go around some of the, the coastline there and just see what there is. There are a lot of holiday lets down here. I wonder how much it is to stay a night. But no matter what it is, I guarantee they paid more than three pounds to stay here. I suppose I should probably get all this sorted out before I have breakfast. Better, right? But you didn't know I was a magician as well. It would appear that for the first time ever, I don't have any coffee in the van. <sighs> That's normally all I ever have for breakfast. That's annoyed me. I guess I'll just have to fuel up on water. Really gonna disturb the peace now. The biggest issue with these electrical pumps, you know, you pump it up to the PSI you want, but because this part here isn't designed for paddle boards really, or they say it is, but I think these are too long. Even though you've got to have the valve up to inflate, which is what I always do. It always seems to release some pressure when I take it off. So I always pump it up at least 2 PSI more than what I would want. I never go up to 15 anyway because it's a hot day and air expands. So that when I take it off, it's still going to be inflated enough. And this is the fun bit. Walking all the way down to the cove with this heavy thing. Wish me luck. So now let's go for a little paddle around, see what we can find. Beautiful. So for anyone that's new here, and you wonder why I've only got one glove on, it's because I damaged my finger a little while back getting a wetsuit off. And if I get it wet, I don't want to The spoon will come off if it gets wet, so I can wear the glove just so that I don't litter. And it keeps my finger nice and straight. All right. Mullion Cove. 
I've actually done the co coastal path from here to uh, Kynance Cove a few months ago and it was actually like a really, really nice walk. It was further than we anticipated, but onwards and upwards. We're gonna maybe go around where these rocks are. Check that out, there's some kayakers out there as well. Cove here, let's go check it out. Oh, wow! There was a little, uh bit of a current in there, so I turned around fairly sharpish. Hello, mate! You see that little baby seagull there just chilling? He's just chilling. There's nothing wrong with just chilling. Now, it's times like these, I like to just reflect on what a fantastic night's sleep that was. I mean, the app, Park for Night, is absolutely fantastic because not only does it tell you like overnight sleeping is permitted or overnight camping, there's actually people that leave little reviews on there as well and just tell you what's there. So I couldn't recommend it enough. Down where I live, there tends to be not a huge amount of places on there, but you know, if you're sort of planning on traveling the country, there's, there's a lot of free camping spots that you can stop off at. There's one thing, if, you, if you're out in the water and you find yourself sort of starting to drift and you want to stop and have a little chill out, just grab a buoy and uh, you know, this will keep you anchored for a little bit. Probably like lobster pots down there or something. Ooh, see, that wind was just about to take me that way and this guy saved the day. Lovely morning for it. The walk back isn't any easier. All right, guys, how's it going? Yeah, are you enjoying your hay? See you later. Bye. The van's all packed up, ready to go. How cool is that? It's on a, it's on a remote. If you enjoy these sort of van camping videos, then you'll love this one, and I'll see you soon. Bye, little van campground or little car park. See you later. Bye.